This is the uh, execution of a, a UK government funded project uh, in partnership with uh, Delta Motorsport, uh, who've been looking after the electrification and drive by wire and vehicle controls architecture and uh, the mobility consultancy It Moves uh, in London who've helped us with the, with the kind of user experience and, uh, and mobility side of, of the project. So um, the motive as you see is uh, our first running, or will be very shortly running prototype uh, of the new um, automotive platform. So we've been very much focused on mobility as a service, last mile transportation or, or last, last mile delivery. And that's driven all of the design um, decisions around the vehicle in terms of what we've done. Um, the, the driver for this was also trying to meet um, L7 heavy quadricycle uh, weight requirements. So that gives us some advantages in terms of size of battery, again, cost, uh, flexibility of, of design, um, but it's very difficult to, to deliver. So this vehicle is, meets the sub 450 kilo weight target, uh, which Gordon's very pleased with, from, with his uh, lightweight, uh, lightweight focus. In fact, we're, this vehicle, as you see it, is uh, actually 380 kilos without without the battery. Um, but one of the biggest customer issues with vehicles of that type is around safety performance. Now I appreciate the vision for this is to be autonomous and we, you know, it's not planning to, to, be, uh, to crash, shall we say. Um, but what we've done is we've tried to deliver um, M1 or, or full vehicle crash safety for a vehicle of that weight. So it's the first time that's been done, we believe. Um, so this meets European legal reg regulations for full frontal rear side impact. Um, at that weight classification, so that's that's a first. So the autonomous space obviously is changing rapidly, and, and you know we're, we're not naive enough to think that someone's going to come to us and say we want you know a thousand of these vehicles tomorrow. So the next step for this for us is to look for partners for both um, autonomy and the sensor and the mobility as a service side of the product to enable us to get this into pilot production or into a pilot prove out uh, phase over the next 12 months to move that forward. So you know the vehicle is will be you know. Um, commissioned over the next sort of month or so to get this fully functioning but what we've done with the vehicle is we've completely steered clear of the the autonomous side so this vehicle is ready it's agnostic to the autonomous software stack and the sensor suite um, it's flexible enough with Delta's um, control architecture to interface with any provider so the idea is then that we will then work with you know some some partners moving forward to get you know a number of these out there on trial so that people can use them and we can get the feedback to and see how that moves.